Okay, let's try this again. Pozdrav svima, my name is Otto Moto and welcome to my channel. Welcome to World of Warships. Look what I have. It is a Sims uh, Tier 7 uh, American Destroyer. It's a premium vehicle, a special pre-order package. And I mean, War Gaming, what are you doing to me? I'm all out of money and I keep spending it on premium pre-order ships. So um, it costs 30 euros, 30 dollars, somewhere around that. Um, you will be able to get the ship all the way up until the closed beta test uh, is closed. And we don't know when that will be. So you have a limited amount of time to buy this ship after that. It will be exclusive for a year. So meaning basically you get to be the douchebag that has the premium ship that other people can't have and you can rub it in their noses when you sink, sink them with it which is always a plus, let's face it that's why we're getting this stuff <laughs> um, is it a good ship? we're gonna go quickly through the, through the numbers of the ship then a little bit of gameplay and in the end a conclusion is it uh, worth getting or not and uh, maybe some tips on how to play it effectively as if I know because I played only like 10 or 15 games but we need to do this fast because you need to decide if you're gonna give this uh, ship a chance or not so straight into the into the numbers compact capability stand a little bit low 13,800 uh, health and 6 to 13 millimeters of armor which means basically if you hit a dolphin you're gonna sink as you should you fucking dolphin killer uh, the artillery is nice okay this is a gunboat because american destroyers are a gunboats so uh 13.3 uh rate of fire uh look at that degree turn time 180 um degree turn time is point uh, 5.3 seconds so in other 10 seconds the turrets make a full rotation why is this important because uh the turrets are so fast that no matter how fast you spin the ship and this ship is the most um, maneuverable ship in the game. The turrets always stay on the target. So that's that's saying a lot, okay? Now, H, uh, whoops. Uh, H chance of fire, 5%. Uh, AP damage uh, is 2,370. It's nice, kind of standard, but the firing range, 13 kilometers, 12.9. 12, 12 so you can basically snipe. They think it's it's very very good very good range fantastic uh, turret rotation time and a good good uh, reload so the AA guns I don't know um, the the funny thing about the AA guns was the 1.2 kilometers 1.2 those are the close and here's the funny thing these are dual purpose uh, main batteries and I'm not even sure if this is working if is this implemented or not. I cannot determine if my main gun guns are also doubling as uh, anti-aircraft weapons at this point. This is filmed in closed beta, so maybe it's gra just graphically I don't see it, or maybe they did not introduce it. I'm trying to, I tried to search it on the net, I just don't know how this will work. But if it will work, firing range 5 kilometers and damage per second uh, for the aircraft is 8 so it should be a pretty good anti-aircraft uh, platform if if it works maximum speed 39 knots that's one fucking speedboat okay turning circle radius half a kilometer that's very nice and rather shift time three and a uh, half seconds as i said very very maneuverable very fast as a destroyer should be <sighs> And now the surface detectability range, 7.6 and the aircraft can see you at 3.7 kilometers. Not the best numbers, unfortunately. Uh, if you remember, the, the, Graham, the Graham has a concealment surface detectability of 7. However, his torpedoes uh, fly all the way out to, the, to 8 kilometers. And this guy has torpedoes that only go 5.5. So basically, torpedoes... Uh, although they are fast, 65 knots, um, they are good. How many do we have? Let's see. Uh, two times four, so basically eight in midship, left and right. They turn a little bit slow. Sometimes I'm caught in a in a dogfight, and they're like, "Where do we shoot?" And I'm like, "Holy fucking smoke! Shoot already!" 
they're more like a shotgun, close range shotgun for uh, choosing off the enemy destroyers and uh, making making sure people don't get too close to you. Um, okay, so let's go into the modules and just check what kind of upgrades you can put on your new ship. Um, AA guns modification 20% uh, for, um, for survivability, that's not important. I took this one, main battery modification 1, you get uh, above 2 magazine detonations, 2 critical damage to main battery, actually you will need this. Even with these modifications, my turrets get destroyed quite often. And uh, I suspect it's because they are so high and rather big on the ship. Um, and also you could get torpedo tube modifications, but this is an American uh, gunboat, so torpedoes are not that important. Again, next uh, modifications, anti-aircraft guns, 20% to the firing range of the anti-air, torpedo tubes, 10% to torpedo tube repair time, and 20% to torpedo tubes. Aim speed, which could be useful, they are a little bit slow, the tubes. Gunfire control system 1, uh, main battery firing accuracy. This could be useful on this ship because uh, it has a long range, 13 kilometers, among the longest uh, of all destroyers. So if you are sniping, you should be able to maybe use this. Uh, it, it's not that, not that a lot of money to try it out. And um, what I have is a 10% main battery loading time and 15% main battery aiming speed. Um, I take it for the loading time only. We can also use uh, damage control system 1 for flooding or fire, propulsion, protecting your propulsion and pro pro protecting your steering. I'm just, I'm thinking maybe propulsion is more important than steering. And you can also use some uh, uh, propulsion modifications, uh, steering gears and propulsion. To be honest, this is a fast and maneuverable ship. You don't really need those. However, damage control system 2, 50% flooding recovery time and 15% uh, minus, of course, to the extingu extinguishing fires. When you're burning, this is a light ship, not a lot of health and you need it all. Also, you will be under fire constantly, um, under enemy fire. Uh, this is a premium ship. So, of course, all the premium benefits apply. You get more XP, you get more credits. Um, you can, the, the ship can be commanded by any American commander you have without retraining. So, uh, considering that the tech tree is gonna be, the American tech tree is gonna be a full tech tree on the release, actually probably once the closed beta is over, this will be a very useful ship to have. Also, it's a tier seven, ship so it should make a lot of money i don't know because i haven't had that many good games with it so to sum it up this is a very fast very maneuverable ship fast spinning turrets uh, long range fast firing guns shitty torpedoes absolutely no armor uh, a tier 7 so you're gonna be going up against uh, Cleveland's and Pensacola's and stuff like that. Um, how do you? How do we play it? I really can't tell because uh, honestly, I didn't have many good games in it. Actually, I had no good games in it, and I'm not too happy with it. We're gonna go into the gameplay and just see what just just see what we can get. And uh, and I know you're probably looking at these things down here, so I'm just gonna show you. These are like the spaceships warships uh, currently while filming this look at this retarded thing <laughs> they made a mod where you can uh, play the where you can play like the spaceships yamato type of uh, type of game it's a gag uh, like a late april april fools joke mod for everything so uh, whatever let's go play the scenes and uh, get this video over with Okay, so this is literally the best game I managed to get in this boat and it's it's really an epic replay, okay, but it's not indicative of the type of games you will be getting or at least of the type, type of games I was getting uh, in this ship. Just keep that in mind guys, I had to spit blood and tears whole day just to get one good, sh um, one good match 
to show you. Uh, average matches are just so sh shitty. Maybe I'm just bad in this uh, in this boat. Maybe I was not playing it right. I'm still searching the enemy team has taken for, the the, for the correct way to to play this this boat and. Um, I'll come to this later. About the tactics, obviously, uh, the time is short, we are still in beta, um, things, things can change, other boats can come that are uh, nice feeding material for this, uh, for this sh ship. Um, the number of destroyers can be larger, you know, uh, all kind of stuff. Anyway, I tried to run to, to Bravo and uh, cap brow since usually this is what i do in a in a destroyer now uh, on towards the alpha there were some minikazes and i was really happy that i was alone here um, and here comes Our team has the, taken the lead oh it's a nicholas so i don't it's not just the a nicholas it's probably the minikaze right and uh, this is like supposed to be a gunboat. So gunboats are meant to kill other destroyers. And as you can see, I'm not afraid of it. I have played many, many games in the Minikaze, and I know exactly what he can do and cannot do. His his turrets are jack shit, and his uh, engine is out, and he's basically dead meat. He needs to come really close and surprise me with his torpedoes. That's why I'm keeping a good eye on the splashes. Uh, on around his ship Enemy destroyer there you go uh, around his ship in case he fires off torpedoes and he didn't so I'm still in Bravo completely alone check check out the map guys uh, now and then there's the other seems very far away and look how uh, lovely he keeps turning and avoiding my fire and I'm doing the same although I'm still uh, constantly looking through the, through the scope uh, you can see how my ship rotates in the lower left corner So this is basically pointless and then I get even more surprises from up front And it's a uh, it's a Nicholas uh, It's another American destroyer gunboat uh, Very nasty guns. You do not want to go in a gun matches with those uh, But also has a backup a cruiser behind him so I'm trying to get behind the island isolate the guy and uh, maybe try to get him with my torps I mean the torpedoes um, on this ship are really really shitty there's no other way to say it they are fast but so short range that uh, oh it reminds me of that joke uh, when the guy tells the girl that he has a rather short dick but and she's like but but also very thin yeah <coughs> that's sometimes how I feel about this torpedo so I'm actually it's a cowardly move but I've been sunk so many times I'm getting out of here I'm just abandoning the Bravo because uh, I'm getting squeezed left and right and uh, I'm tired of dying and uh, it turns out it was a good tactic so maybe this is what I was missing. I was just going balls deep all the time, and uh, maybe maybe you need to sometimes, uh, you know, count your losses and get the heck out of dodge. The Nicholas was very persistent, and there goes the engine. And after, if I remember correctly, I have the additional modifications to protect my engine. You can only imagine how would it be without those. Uh, you can penetrate the citadel from the front, by the way. But it was disturbed. So I thought, <laughs> let's see if he's stupid enough to go behind me. I'm just gonna shower him with my short but thin torpedoes. And, uh, yup, he wasn't. So, um, kudos to you, man. You didn't, you didn't fall for the trap. Okay, so I, I chased him away. A couple of shots for a lovely goodbye. Actually, decapped him right there. So, go away, shoo. Again, let me repeat. I had horrible games all day. This is the best game I had in in this ship ever. Problem solved, sir. And uh, it seems against Sims. 
on an open water with no... Uh, and I think I started with less health than him. But I'm fighting AP and uh, look, uh, keep an eye on my boat uh, in the lower left. I'm constantly changing directions, I'm constantly evading fire. And my guns are turning so fast you cannot even notice. They are constantly on target. So it's kind of a, a difficult skill to master without hitting the island or like this. I'm going uh, towards him. I wasn't even thinking what I was doing. It was uh, a little bit of adrenaline pumping stuff. And I land a few critical hits. So pumping damage after damage after damage into this guy. And at this point... One good volley and I'm down. I just don't know what's gonna happen. But he is on fire, which is nice, so... And now I'm on fire, which is you know, less than nice. He disappeared into the smoke. You coward! Get out! Fight like a man! Sing, sink like a mermaid! Come on! Arr, down she goes! <laughs> With a sliver of health! That was... That was just oh, so much action, um, Mr. Mr. Aircraft Carrier. You can go to hell, you and your uh, stupid dive bombers. Okay, and I'm just really pissed at this point. You can see me looking left or right, and I'm like, do I even care? It's uh, they have 700 points, all all points cap. There's no bloody way we can win this. Nobody can turn this around, so I'm thinking I'm making a YouTube movie. Let's just make the best of it. Maybe go kill him, right? And... Minikaze? Right. Minikaze. You know what? Let's rock. Let's play, motherfucker. Come on. Come and get me, bitch. I'm gonna sink your ass. I'm really pissed off at this point. I'm losing the game. Playing all day. F just losing game after game, can't get any good gameplay and I'm losing this one as well. Look at the score and then the Minikaze shows up and this asshole keeps throwing torpedoes up my ass. I mean, look, people, I couldn't make these things up. <laughs> and uh, the Minikaze turrets turn really slowly but the stupid torpedoes are forcing me to go straight and he has a good shot at me. So, um, oh, did you get stuck? And I'm thinking I'm actually faster than these torpedoes. So, Mr. Minikaze, prepare your anus because I'm going in deep. Ha ah, ha ha, run away from the torpedoes. And now, Will you kill me or shall I kill you? Yes! Enemy heavily damaged. Enemy destroyer found. You got a rift! Say hello to a new artificial reef, fishes. Ah That was so hard. So maybe this is the way to play the ship. I don't know. It's just go nuts! Go completely crazy, take your pants off and go in with your dick swinging. Because it seems to work. I tried to hide, it doesn't work. This ship has a seven and a half kilometer spotting range. Everybody sees you coming. Your torpedoes go only five and a half kilometers, so. The enemy is about to win. Yeah, and they're about to win. So at this point I'm like blah 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 what do I do? do I, I'm, I'm trying to go to Bravo. Okay, to make the long story short, I managed to cap B and I continue straight all the way up front to the C. So we're just gonna jump, jump to that point, okay? Moving in to, to cap A and look at the score, 990 points. They win at, at 1000, 993. Will I get lucky? 999 for a fucking point. I managed to decap Alpha and just I go nuts in the chat. Uh, this is the closest I think uh, you can't go, go any closer. Within a second, victory denied. Uh, 
Oh, this feels so good. This feels so good. And uh, not to bore you to death, uh, in the end, uh, we actually won this one. Their, cr their carrier, the only one left, never managed to reach the uh, sea cap point, and we won by capping. So, yeah, this was uh, a match to remember. But it's not about the match, it's about the ship. Check, uh, check out my turret. My turret is blown up. I, in as much as I want to like this ship, because I paid money for it, I need to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't get it. It's uh, too much money for too less performance. In the end, this is a premium ship. And the point of a premium ship is to either make a bunch of credits or a bunch of experience, uh, which turns into free experience and so on, into a commander experience. Uh, it doesn't have to be a good ship, but it has to produce those things. And this thing just doesn't. I don't recommend it. I guess I, I, I should say try to get the Russian one. It has the benefit of bearing the American ship and you will uh, have the full American tree on American tree on the release so it will be useful but uh, in the end I'm not very happy with it. I'm sorry that I have to end the video on a well a relatively negative uh, point but at least uh, I hope this was useful to you if if you still have the hearts for this ship Check out other YouTubers, you know, get some other opinions, but uh, with one day of playing this ship, whole day, I, I really not am not happy with it. And here you can see the results of this game. Again, this was a unusually epic game for me. Um, so, uh, on average I was getting like uh, around 500 experience and maybe 100,000 uh, credits per game. I hope this was useful review for you. If not, please speak up in the comments, you know, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, gameplay videos of this and other ships. Automoto finally out.